Okay, finally, we are back to normal. Well, you know, I had this whole thing I wanted to talk about, but then Joey Sovine walked over to me just a minute ago and he goes, did you know that you cannot lick your own elbow? So I thought, do we want to talk about what we had planned or spend this whole segment what? trying to lick our own elbows? I'm good. I'm right, good. Then. That's not the name of the segment. It's Pop Goes the Weasel, everybody, <laughs> contrary to whatever he is saying. Uh, look, it's Joey Sovine's fault. Okay. Yeah, he, we, we, we blame him for Just a lot of things here. Just move on with it. Okay, I'm sorry. anyway, Rick Rush is back here from our friends over at The Weasel to talk all things country music. Got a lot of good stuff happening. Yeah, country music's biggest night was this past Wednesday, mm -hmm. and... How about Lainey Wilson? She's killing it. No one's surprised. So the CMA Awards, yeah. that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, Lainey Wilson took home a lot of great awards. Entertainer of the Year. So she was nominated for nine awards. Mm -hmm. She took home five. Mm -hmm. uh, that's more than any uh, uh, woman in country music, wow. in the history of country music, has taken home in one night. And only three other people have done it. Uh, Johnny Cash back in the 60s, uh, Vince Gill, and then Alan Jackson. Wow. Now Lainey Wilson is with that. But the other thing, like you mentioned, Entertainer of the Year, uh, it's the shortest time from going from new artist to the biggest wow. award, one year, and only one other person has done that. Do you know who it is? Hmm. Gartholomew Brooks. Oh, I could have guessed that. Yes. Wow. Well, you said on a previous show that you thought she was the next Dolly Parton. I do. I do. Yeah. Now, Entertainer of the Year, it's a, it's kind of an industry voted thing, and she's very popular. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm glad she won it, and I even voted for her. Okay. Uh, but Morgan Wallen should have won it. He Interesting. Was, this he is a was hot the take. biggest. He was the biggest thing in country last year. I feel and Lady I think Wilson he, was. Well, I mean, she didn't even do a headlining tour. That's true. She, she came here to Riverfront Revival. Ads. Yeah, she opened for Luke Combs here. Yeah. It should have come down to Luke or Morgan for entertainment, but I'm not disappointed at all. Yeah. Now, I do think Morgan Wallen got snubbed in the album category because mm. at one point he had 34 songs on the charts. Yeah. And, uh, That's crazy. And he didn't get an album, but whatever. Interesting. Way to go, Lainey Wilson. Yeah, there were some great performances. There was a great Jimmy Buffett tribute. Kenny yes. Chet I almost started crying when I watched that this morning. Did Now, when you watched it, did it sound like uh, Kenny Chesney was getting choked up? Yes. Or did you think that he was, ha I couldn't tell if he was having vocal issues no. or if he was being emotional. I think he was emotional. Go back and watch it. Yeah. See what you, see what you think about that. Yeah, that was a great way. Um, and then Alan Jackson came out with Zach Brown Band. It was oh, a great yeah. tribute to uh, Jimmy yeah. Buffett. A night full of amazing music. Such yes. a great night in music. And speaking of a great thing, mm -hmm. you do something pretty great here for the community with our friend Bill Walsh. Yeah, he is my partner in kindness, as I call him. Oh, yes. I love that. You guys truly are the two kindest guys I've ever met. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Bill, not you. Maybe Bill. Um, so tell us about the Kindness Crusade. So the Kindness Crusade is something we've been doing for the last couple of years uh, with our friends at Cruise Chevy and Cruise Subaru. And every year... More. Than a car, dude. More than, and, and uh, you've got a you friend, friend in, the in the car business. That's right. I know that. Uh, the Kindness Crusade is is random acts of kindness or charity events or it, it, a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. But on Thanksgiving, we give away free turkeys, and that's mm -hmm. going to happen next Friday. One week from today, 103 free turkeys on the lot at Cruise Chevy, Rivers Avenue in North Charleston. What's the date? Uh, it's one week from today, 17th. November 17th. Okay. And you can start lining up at 3 We'll give away the turkey starting at 515. Um, and, and once we get 103 cars on the lot, we shut the lot. So uh, that way, you know, you're not waiting hours yeah. and then you don't get a turkey. Everybody that makes it in, but it's first come, first serve, one turkey per car. And we're very strict with that rule. Well, Bill is. Yeah. You know, because. You know, he's kind of tough. Yeah, he's kind of tough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unlike you. Yeah. Well, that's such an amazing thing that you guys do. I know the community really appreciates that. So it's thank you guys for it's that. It's a lot of fun. And, and you'll be able to watch it on here on Live 5 on the news broadcast. It's always a lot of fun and we enjoy doing it. And, and we get to talk to people. Um, and, and the other thing about this, it's kindness. It's not charity. So mm -hmm. don't feel bad about coming up and get a free turkey. Yeah, no. Yeah. And you get to just like meet more people in your community. You get to meet Rick Rush. You get That's to right. meet Bill Walsh and have some fun. And it's and the spirit Bill of giving. Bill Walsh can hand you a turkey through your driver's side that's window. That's amazing. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's that's always a great event. Always very busy too. Um, so we're going kind of from Thanksgiving into Christmas. Yes. And and me myself, I have been listening to Christmas music for months now. So do you like listen on the iHeartRadio app, our Christmas well, station? Because you know we do that you know, I have 365. To, I had to bring a little prop. Oh, Lord. Do you just have those there all the time? I just had it there.
just for that. I almost wore my Santa suit today. You know, my elf name is Puddin' Sparkle Fingers. Oh, yeah, that's a new one. Um, so the, I, I actually have, like I have the weasel pu puzzle uh, programmed into my mm -hmm. car. I also have Y1025. It's the Low Country's Christmas music station, or yeah. it will be at five o'clock today. And Y is for Yuletide. Yeah, Y stands for Yuletide. <laughs> That's what it That's says. That's what the Y means. So this starts on Friday. This it starts, starts today. today. Today, <gasps> five o'clock. We transition to Christmas music, oh and we're going to go through the new year because Christmas falls on the middle of the week. We're just going to take it right on through. You know that I, I've been checking since um, November 1st, and I've been really disappointed that it hasn't happened happened yet. Well, a few more hours away and we open up Santa's workshop, the music department <gasps> at Y1025 and we start uh, we start taking your uh, customer service calls there <gasps> at Santa's workshop for your request. Oh my gosh, can I do some requests? Absolutely. You know what Christmas song I really love? Uh, the I, hippopotamus I love, song? No, I love all of them, but last Christmas Taylor Swift version from back in the day, it's uh -huh. so good. You don't like the Mariah? It's, it's all right. Mm. Uh, um, anyway. All right. <laughs> Happy holidays. By the way, if you do want to get into spirits, though, uh, we still play a bunch of songs about beer and whiskey and all of that on the weasel. So, okay. So holiday spirits or just normal? Just spirits. Just getting into the spirits. We got you covered on the weasel. Um, do we have any giveaways coming up? Uh, we will next week. We have a concert announcement on Monday. <gasps> concert <gasps> announcement. Yeah, yeah. I can't tell you who it is. Oh, any hints? Uh, they play on the weasel. Okay, cool. That that helps. All right. What about New Music Friday? Nothing this week. It, we're pushing to next week. So this has just kind of been a slow week. I think everybody was uh, getting ready for um, Christmas music on Y1025. So I think that's none, the none reason. of the artists decided to release anything. Today. I have been. We I think we talked about last time. Um, what's his name? Head over boots. Oh, John, oh, John Party. Party. John, John Party. Party. He released his Christmas album. I've, I've been listening to that. And you know. Uh, Brett Eldridge is going out on a Christmas oh, tour, his Christmas and he does like so uh, Frank Sinatra type feel yeah, to it. Yeah, his is so good. Yeah. John Party changed the words to, um, what's that song where it's like, I've Jingle only bells? got, oh, I got, instead of I got no friends, he does, I got my, only got my band. I was like, look at him changing the words How to the about Christmas that? song. On the fly like that, too. I know, oh. he's so good. All right, Rick, well, thank you so much for finally coming back with me. Well, I was here last week, wasn't I? Yeah, well, it wasn't just us. <laughs> you too. just told me once okay, a week, whatever. right? All right, I thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. <laughs>